Hey guys, welcome back to another cryptocurrency news article. This one comes out of Cointelegraph, and the UK native stablecoin gets integrated into 18,000 ATMs nationwide. So yeah, Brits can now withdraw physical cash for their GBPT, a one-for-one -one British pound stablecoin, as well as other cryptocurrencies at ATMs in the United Kingdom. So nice. Let's see, a partnership between Pound Token and Bitcoin Point will make the country's first 100% backed British Pound stablecoin, GBT, accessible to retail consumers via a network of 18,000 ATMs across the United Kingdom. The move marks another step toward the UK becoming a crypto hub and is in line with the government's push to use stablecoins for wholesale settlements. Now, Bitcoin Point is a Lightning Network-enabled Bitcoin and cryptocurrency exchange licensed and registered in the United Kingdom. Pound Token is the sole issuer of GBPT, which it states is fully backed in pounds at all times, with monthly attestations provided by auditor KPMG. Now, cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin and Ether can already be swapped for cash at ATMs across the United Kingdom. However, listing GBPT on Bitcoin Point means that users can now access retail and wholesale payments using the pound stablecoin and use a currency familiar to Brits as an on-ramp into the cryptocurrencies. Now, here's a map showing like all the hotspots where you can do it. But Benoit Marzuka, CEO of Bitcoin Point, told Cointelegraph that the move could de democratize access to crypto for non-tech savvy people in the United Kingdom. He explained that it's also fully in line with the government's consideration to integrate stablecoins with the UK economy. The UK is the second largest economy in Europe. Its government is recruiting for senior roles in central bank digital currencies, as well as digital pound rollouts. While Prime Minister Rish Shunak has been vocal in his support for digital settlement assets, the country's new preferred terminology for crypto. Wait, wait, what are they calling it? <laughs> digital settlement assets? Is that the new term? <laughs> well, that's the first time I'm hearing of it. <laughs> but Crosby explained to Cointelegraph that Pound Token came about as a result of the rise in USD stablecoins such as Tether and USD Coin, and the fact that there is no UK-based alternative. The purpose of GBPT is really to bring the blockchain and crypto to the UK and make it easier for adoption in the UK. It's time the UK started to realize its potential as the world leader in crypto. The partnership works to normalize the use of stablecoins to conduct everyday financial practices. Mar Marzuik explained, we are Bitcoiners at Bitcoin Point and we really see value in stablecoin projects. It really makes sense. And here's an image of the ATM of what you can see. It looks like users will require a phone number and a Bitcoin Point account to use a service, uh, says Marzuk. Now, stablecoin use has proliferated around the world, from inflation ridden Argentina to European financial hub Switzerland. However, the scars of the Terra algorithmic stablecoin crash are still fresh among the crypto industry, forcing some jurisdictions, such as Hong Kong, to outlaw their use entirely. Now, scoring systems from traditional finance risk assessors, such as Moody's, may give credibility to the burgeoning stablecoin ecosystem, while efforts from Bitcoin advocate groups such as the Bitcoin Policy Institute may pave the way toward a crypto and stablecoin-based future. Now, Marzuik told Cointelegraph that in the UK, cashing out via an ATM off-ramp using Bitcoin Point remains low, less than 5%, and it is unlikely that there will be a dramatic uptick in numbers of users taking advantage of GBPT to hold physical cash. However, he is quite confident about the on-ramp into crypto. We see Bitcoiners opting out from the banking system and becoming Bitcoin only. You can also have people who don't want to have a bank account and could therefore use GBPT. So when they need cash, they can off-ramp into GBPT to get the cash. The move could allow more and more crypto enthusiasts to participate without a bank. And the integration is now live across the United Kingdom's 18,000 ATMs. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, do you guys think it will help onboard more people, or at least the common folks into it? Or not really, but would you use it? Let me know in your comments in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your feedback on this article. But yeah, if you liked it, hit that thumbs up for me. Uh, also subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.